everyone, Joker here with a video review. I am taking over this channel from Optiphotomus because it can't do this justice. This is the Batman the Animated Series Joker Mobile. Oh, that is not good. I've been doing a lot of these impressions lately, and I am not good at them. Um, actually, that wasn't that wasn't terribly bad. Uh, but this is something I'm very excited about. Back from the beyond, back from the grave, whatever you want to call it, the DC Collectibles, um, DC Direct Line, whatever you want to refer to it as, it, it, it went under a couple different name changes, is now under the direct control of Todd McFarlane. And uh, you can see that here. I don't know what this is. If somebody can tell me what the go label means and then you got the the spawn logo right there I, I absolutely love that i think it's cool i love spawn um never really followed him too terribly much i just always thought he was a cool character and uh i, I do know that i got a, a batman spawn crossover comic somewhere in my box of comics over here uh that was always a fun favorite of mine this is something that is I, i'm very excited about they are basically re-releasing a lot of these old DC Collectible, DC Direct, Batman Animated Series figures. Now, while I have collected them, uh, I, I didn't do a ton of different reviews on them. Um, I did some. Um, I, I didn't do a lot. But I do have almost all the characters that I basically want. So I don't know if I'm going to be going and doing a lot of uh, these. There is a version of Joker that I do like that uh, actually kind of fits with this particular vehicle, which I'll touch on here in a little bit, that I might pick up. Uh, and then there's a few other ones that I may get. Um, I'm very excited about this, though. Uh, the, the thing, when DC was in charge of this line, uh, they had teased this. Uh, we had seen it at, like, San Diego Comic-Con or something like that. And then the DC Collectibles, DC uh, Direct line ended. It, it died. Um, don't know why, whatever. But when McFarlane Toys took over, they got all of these. And this was a part of it. And they decided to release it, which I'm absolutely ecstatic about. Uh, it it, it kind of goes along with uh the 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 batmobile we got the batwing from batman the animated series i believe we got the bat cycle it's it's cool to finally get the joker mobile now this was first seen in batman the animated series um 40 some episodes into it it's uh, an episode called joker's wild and joker was in prison and he found out that this guy had decided to create a casino in joker's image and that kind of pissed them off so he broke out of jail went there and started wreaking havoc this view and, and when he got there he could see that the entire casino was themed after the joker now he kind of played it out saying like what are you talking about the joker is a part of like cards and and gaming and all that kind of stuff but it's not necessarily meant to be him it clearly was it was a, a, a ploy he was trying to get the joker to go there blow it up collect the insurance and all that fun stuff but when you go to casinos, there's always a free car that you can win, uh, like a slot machine or whatever the case may be. This was the free car that you could win. So it was literally on the screen for 30 seconds, maybe. Uh, the Joker hopped in it, stole it, tried to escape, get away from Batman. Then he crashed into something and it, it exploded. So we never saw it again uh, in this look. I think it came back in a slightly different look in the new adventures of Batman, which... I never really continued watching. I, it's it's weird. Like I I didn't mind this animation, but the like the new adventures I, I never really liked all that much. But packaging wise, very similar to what we got before with the old line, and I love it. You got the very cool Batman anime logo right there, the Joker mobile, cool cartoonish image of it. You can see down here it says that it lights up. Top section here has an image of the toy. You got the the DC direct line right there uh, again you got the the gold label which i think that just means that this is like um a higher end exclusive uh all of these uh, to my knowledge here in the u.s are exclusive 
to Target stores. So if you're looking for these, this is where you're going to go. And I found this at my local one. Um, side here, Joker Mobile. This side, got that as well. Um, bottom has uh, details on like the, the batteries. It requires three AAA batteries. So you are going to need those. And then it can run on the back and you can see another cartoon image of it. And then the light up feature, which is really very cool. Now, because of how big this is, I'm going to have to go over, get out of my chair, hi everybody, and walk over here, try not to kill myself, hopefully you can still hear me, I got to grab it off of my, uh, my bed over here, but I'm also going to grab something to compare it to. These things are massive, um, I am really blown away, and boom, here the bastard is, look how gorgeous that is, I am just... <laughs> blown away by how awesome this is this is huge it's impressive it's it's imposing i have the black pearl this is going to be a, a, a fixture from now on we're always going to have the black pearl in my videos from now on but this is absolutely fantastic and very much a carbon copy from how it looked in that episode to how it is here um all the way down from the purple color you got the two seat sort of thing here the roll bar the um steering wheel right there all of that is incredibly well recreated and heavy too this son bitch is really quite heavy uh, I'm, I'm really quite impressed with it. the back section there's no real detail back here i mean like in terms of paint or anything like that everything is molded in the color so you got like the purple right here i love the fact that these are actual rubber rubber tires one thing that I noticed is if you come in here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. Do you notice something about the treads? Maybe maybe because it's, let's see. Okay, do you notice something? <laughs> Look at that. The tread is laughs. I mean, is that like that on the, on the front tire too? It probably is. Oh man, that is absolutely gorgeous stupid attention to detail that i don't know honestly if if the cartoon had that um but they put it on here and i think it's great uh size comparison because like i said i don't have a lot of space here to be doing this and this is this is a, the, this is a big boy he big and I'm, I'm moving stuff around hopefully my table's not falling apart um here is the joker now i talked about how there's a version of uh the joker that is out where he's wearing a trench coat in in the episode he goes to the casino not like this this is how he ends up looking but he's wearing a trench coat and a hat i don't know I, i'm i'm pretty sure that they released that in some capacity in the old line i never got it because i already had this one but i kind of want that one just to kind of go along with this because they're not, he didn't he didn't drive around in that trench coat in this car wearing that but i just think that it kind of fits a little bit better but amazing uh, now for just purposes of seeing how well he fits in here let's get him kind of get that it's a little bit tricky and i can't edit my videos you guys know that um so maybe it would be easier if they had like like something where you could lift this up and put that in there. That would be cool. Um, what's that some bitch in there? There we go. There we go. There he's inside. Oh, his leg is all the way over there. That's, that's what, okay. So there we go. Oh, per that some bitch fits in there perfectly. That is fantastic. Absolutely love it. And then you have other spaces. So you can take, uh, I brought in good old Harvey. Harvey Two-Face. Come here, Harvey. Let's put Harvey inside the passenger seat. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to put him in the back seat. Um, oh, well, he's he's a little bit tall for the back seat. Um, but realistically, you only really need somebody sitting in the front. Maybe let me try. I, I did. So let me try. Let me put him here. Again, it's just kind of like a matter of getting the feet to kind of fit in there. Get your ass in there, Harvey. Get in there. 
there you go. There we go. I mean, he doesn't look all that comfortable. But um, he's also wearing a, a kind of suit, so it's weird. Now, so you got Harvey, and then you got the back seat here. So I did bring some girls. I got Harley Quinn. Let's see how well she fits. Right there. Oh, Harley fits perfect. She's perfect right there. There we go. So you got Harley Quinn in the back there. But I also brought in Poison Ivy, because why not? He was kind of flirting with Poison Ivy in that episode a little bit. So I'll bring her legs up a tidbit. Inside. And now you have a rolling vehicle of death and destruction. <laughs> oh, I love that. Ding, 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 ding. Um, I'm blown away by this. I, I, I really, really am. All the detail is amazing. You got the engine section right here that doesn't do anything. Uh, but I love the front of this. You can see that you have a semi translucent bit right here. And then for the eyes as well, because it does have the light up feature, like I was kind of talking about uh, when I was talking about the box. Uh, literally, you just come around here. These girls are probably going to fall all over. So let me get these out of there. Yeah, come here. Come here, Poison Ivy. Get, get, your, get your green ass out there. There we go. Uh, so you come around to the bottom of it, and you got the battery compartment right here. You flip the switch, and... You're not going to be able to see. Oh, well, you can kind of see it. Um, I mean, my lights are very bright, but I do like how they actually got specific lights here in here for the eyes and then some here kind of like where the teeth are. Let me let me see. Computer, turn off studio lights. Turn okay. Oh, look how bright that is. That is absolutely amazing. Hopefully that's going to come across um, well after I upload the video. The other thing that's really nice is on the inside here, it also lights up. Let me get around to the other side. Um, I don't know how well that's gonna, that's gonna be very hard to see. Uh, computer, turn on studio lights. That, computer, turn on studio lights. Okay. See, that's, that's stuff that I would normally edit out. You guys never hear me say that. Here, let me pull him out. Um, but, uh, coming in, to, you can see great detail on there. One thing that's also nice is the steering wheel actually makes the tires turn which is cool uh but i love the fact that you got like this little light up section right here which is a smiley face you got the little zapper thing that's actually where he put his hand buzzer to start the car and then you can see a lot of light coming from the underside there on the floor which does help to kind of really illuminate a lot of the stuff in here so computer turn off studio lights okay so there we go you can actually see that it does light up pretty decently in there. I mean, it's, it's not going to come across all that great on the um, on camera, unfortunately. And it's not going to focus on anything. But that is really quite impressive. And then, like I said, that in the front is super, super cool. Computer, turn on studio lights. Now, let me turn that off. Now, the, I don't know how I'm going to actually do this. Um... Because I do want... Oh, the other thing I want to uh, mention is that he does come with a collector card. Um, the original uh, DC Collectibles, DC Direct figures did not come with a collector card. <coughs> but they did... I'm going to set this back here. Um, they did come with uh, display stands, which I don't think they are anymore. Which is fine because those display stands actually sucked. Uh, but you got the collector card right there with the cartoon image. Come around the back and it basically just talks about how joker can drive around in this in style now um like i said even though he kind of destroyed it uh let me i don't know how well this is gonna work um because this some bitch is massive um here's here's the <laughs> i had to go to my storage uh to get this out of storage so hopefully you guys enjoy this um but i'm gonna just ugh, hold this above so you can kind of see how big this is uh it's it's the, the batmobile is considerably longer um but this this guy is definitely taller than the batmobile i just don't have a lot of space here to kind of show this but that is Super cool. And this also has rubber tires as well. So it's nice to see that they continue that on so that these actually um, 
kind of feel like they're being made by the same people, um, the, the same DC Direct folks. So I can't really give McFarlane all the credit in the world for this. I give him credit for releasing this, uh, but ultimately it is the DC collectibles, the DC uh, Direct folks that are responsible for this. This is amazing. I, I mean, seriously, a very cool piece. Um, I have, for years, had these on display because I am a huge Batman animated series fan. Um, it is, to me, the best version of Batman that we've ever gotten. And I am a huge Michael Keaton fan. Um, this, though, is just super, super cool to get. It's crazy it's wacky looking i mean you got this weird section as i said i do kind of wish that you could like that oh wait a minute oh wait shit oh my god didn't even notice that it's not broken wow um it's just pegged on there so oh thank you thank you here we go Let's do this a little bit better this time. Here we are. All right. Oh, I'm a genius. Well, not really. You, you guys probably already knew that. Um, you could do that. that. Well, it doesn't make it much easier. Well, a little, little bit. That steering wheel is causing issues. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know why I, I decided honestly to... What the shit am I doing? Um, but that that's that's a cool sort of thing. Is it actually making it easier to get this in? There we go. All right. Oh yeah. See that? It kind of does. There's there's some junk going on down here that you have to worry about. I mean that is really cool to be able to do that. Where where'd Harvey go? Let's get well. No, no. Let's 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 bring in Harley Quinn. Here's Harley. Put her right here. She can sit in there very nicely, without too much craziness going on. There we go. Perfect. And then yeah, then you and uh, even nice detail on the underside there. But I love that. That is so cool. And then you just attach that right back. Oh. Peg it in, peg it in. Boom! Look at that. Look at that. Did not know that it could do that. Had no clue. I don't even know if, that, if that's in the instructions. I didn't even look. But that is phenomenal. But um, there you go, guys. $60 on this. So it is a little bit more pricey. But you can see how big it is. I mean, this is... Uh, do I have a transformer around here? Here, here's here's Optimus Prime, Voyager class Optimus Prime. So you can see how big this thing is. It is quite, quite substantial and really super cool looking. Honestly, I'm super excited. Now, like I said, I'm not going to need to go back and collect a lot of these because I already have the vast majority of them. There are a couple characters that I don't have. Uh, and a couple vehicles that I don't have. I don't have the Bat Cycle. That has been re-released by these guys. So I do have that coming. I'm excited about that. Um, also, they released... It was like $300 and I didn't get it. But the Bat Cave. That, hopefully, they re-release. Um, maybe it might be a little bit cheaper because McFarland's a little bit bigger. Um, that being said, there was a figure that came with that Bat Cave. And that was... Alfred. That was the only way that you could get that figure, and I never did. So they have released Alfred separately, which I'm excited to get that as well. Um, the Batwing would be nice. I never picked that up. Again, that was another expensive one. It would be cool if they re or reissued that. So I don't really know how many of these actual characters I'm going to be getting because they're they're really not that different. They they release re-release some of them. Most of them have cell shading, which I don't think looks all that good. Uh, but this never was released. I'm absolutely thrilled that they did. This is outstanding. As I talked about, uh, it is exclusive to my understanding here in, the, the, in, uh, in North America. 
to Target store. So you're going to have to go there. It's not in the regular toy aisles. I found it over at, like, the collector spot where they keep, like, um, NECA stuff and more expensive collector-based sort of things. That's where this was. And that's where earlier today I did see Batman and um, Scarecrow. Uh, but I didn't need those because I have them. So get out there, guys. <clears throat> if this is something that you want to add to your collection... Don't hesitate. This is fantastic. Extremely well done. Todd McFarlane, great job on this. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. Here we have the new uh, McFarlane Toys DC Direct Joker Mobile. Cannot recommend it enough to you guys. So until next time, thanks, everybody, for tuning in. If you liked the video, don't forget, do that thing where you hit that thumbs up button to show me that you liked it. Also, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That way you never miss out on future reviews of mine. And until next time, this is Optibotomus saying adios, au revoir, and I'll be the same.